Hello everyone. Welcome to Billy Holman Creations. Thank you for joining me today. I hope everyone is well. Um, Ta-da! Look what I have in front of us today. I have uh, one of those um, ideas in my head again and uh, I want to be able to use up a few things that I that I've uh, that I have. So let's just go through that really quick. Right here in this tray I have a bunch of leftover skins. There's blue and there's white and there's clear. I have some more little skins here, blue and white. I have some color dyes and pigments from Just For You Online UK. I have aqua blue dye and I have a sky blue paste. Uh, these are soap dyes right here. I have uh, haze and sky blue. Also from Just For You Online UK, I have some white shimmer. That way I guess you can read it. I have some casting craft and white pinata ink. All right, now, I also, oh, and I do have a pearl soap dye. Um, a few green leaves, because I don't, I don't have very many, and I don't need very many, I don't think. Some uh, fine sand, rocks, more rocks, uh, these little uh, beige or peach colored flowers. Now you can get these at Walmart in the sewing section. They have all kinds of things like that. I have a little round mold here. I just spilt my flowers. A few more rocks. I have a, a round mold. I believe this is, oh it's bigger than four. This must be, oh, I'm guesstimating four and a half inches just around. I have a, an old plate that uh, I'm going to use to bend my mold and give it just a little slope. So that mold will be this lovely 10 inch mold from Julie at Pouring Your Heart Out. She does her own molds and they're very well made, lovely. I have not used this one before, so it will be a first. And then the icing on my little cake idea, it's not really a cake, but is I had this little ceramic duck. And actually I have quite a few little ceramics that, uh, you know, I, I've put them away or I've just really never had them out. Then, and uh, I have a number of them, but I'm gonna try something uh, new to me and possibly new to you too but we we're going to use this little ceramic duck also. So give me one moment and uh, we're not going to fill this mold yet. We're just going to do the little mold first today and wait till that sets. So let me uh, have a moment to kind of organize myself again and uh, make up a little resin. So I will see you just in just a moment. Okay, here I am with uh, two ounces of amazing clear cast resin. And I'm sorry about the shadows. This is early evening here in Idaho. So um, there might be shadows because I don't have sun coming out of my north window. Anyway, I don't need very much for this first pour, but I do need some sand. So I am just, I don't need those one. I am going to put in a little sand. I have plenty of this in another container too, but uh, I'm eyeballing that round mold. Well, let's just do it. We'll just do it. Here, one last bag. Let's see. So I knew we didn't need very much resin. But this sand does need to be, oh, here we bring it up to dry. So 
Let's add a little more. I'm not sure how much this round mold uh, holds. Actually, it is a five inch. Then we went to get my glasses today. This is interesting. Doctor says, what have you been doing for the last two months? I said, nothing, why? Well, just so happens, the second pair of glasses with new lenses he ordered were in, and after three eye tests now, my eyes have resorted back to my uh, glasses that I've been wearing for the last three years. Go figure. So I can see you, well not you, but I can see today with my bifocals on and I can read and see up close. So I'm happy no matter what the, the issue was. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mold in this little plate here because it, uh, it's the same plate I'm gonna use uh, with the bigger mold to give it a little bit of a, you know, a edge up. And I did thought, I did think about doing this mold in the big mold, but then I didn't know how this would work once I set the uh, larger cast of resin into this plate, if this would do something odd. I don't know, it's just an experiment, so We'll just go with it and see what happens. But we are going to have a sandy beach. Now I thought about uh, grass because I do have some dried, uh, oh, it's, it's not a moss, it's just, and it's not an Easter egg grass, it's just a... Uh, Oh, what should I say? It's like straw grass, but it's dyed green. And I didn't think we needed to use that because I want to use subtle colors. Because the little duck, I think it's a goose. You know, she's got very subtle colors and I don't want to just have bright green and uh, that sort of thing. I wish I should have added more. Risen. I guess we're just going to have to stir it while it's in here. So that's good. I don't have to have any excess to waste. I'll try to figure out what I'm going to do with it. And even if this is a little higher than the larger mold we put this into, that will be fine because it's it'll be a little bit of a hump. And that, It'll be laying from the bottom side, so that won't matter at all. There. You know, I did a resin skin turtle platter not too long ago. Oh, that turned out cute. If you can see that video, go ahead and look at it. Um, anyway, the sand brought out this little bit of white foam, but won't worry about that neither. Set that there, set that here. All right. Now, this little goose, uh, I just added a couple of little more flowers to the little bit she has on around her neck and I did take off uh, oh there's some white fuzzy feathers that weren't looking too good so I took that off and just added a few more and I'm going to put her at uh, not in the center but your feet are going to be in the dirt in the mud Oh, I wonder what kind of air bubbles she could produce. Well, I guess that'll be something we'll have to deal with if it if it happens. But, you know, her eyes are closed. But then again, she looks like she could be looking down at something. So that's something. It's going to be a rock. Maybe I should have waited. No, we're good. Move you over. Put another rock down. 
just tried to look for some pretty rocks that sort of matched the color scheme. Let me get some tweezers and I don't want to drown these little flowers. Oh, the greenery. I need some leaves is what I need because I don't have anything. You know, I'm going to take these off. I won't be touching the resin. Let's hope. Not on purpose anyway. All right. She's drowning in the... Darn it. You know, now it looks like I need more... All right, I need to try something. Get the gloves back on, Billy. I, I did over overdo it. Just a skosh. Drowning my rock. Can't get the gloves on. I should have left it. All right, let's just do this. There's not much left to use. And the next option is she said some more sand. Huh. Should have done that from the get-go. Sop up some of this. It won't matter. It won't matter at all. Except for your little feet getting stuck in the mud. Should have put something under her foot. Now I think about it. I have some of those bumpers. You know, for your coasters. There she's on a sandy beach. Give her a little ducky if you want. And what does not settle in we can get rid of tomorrow. So I'm not too worried. I didn't even bother with blowing bubbles away. Doesn't matter at this point does it? I want my leaves. Put them up here for the time being. That doesn't even matter if that sticks up. to get some of this. We'll be all right. Sometimes the worst mistakes or what you think is the worst mistake becomes the best um, idea or better than you would have ever thought it would be. Now I have enough resin to stick these little flowers in. Sandy beach. Oh, there went the bead. Oh, those are well made, eh? Let's just get rid of that one. There again. Yeah, um, if you need tiny bows or tiny flowers, the sewing department in Walmart has quite a nice variety of that sort of thing. All colors. Oh, I like it. What are you thinking? I think it's going to be very nice. Very pretty. Well, let's get you a little wet first. And we're just going to pop that right there. And our little goose. 
looks quite comfortable. All right. Um, we're going to let this set and see where we're at tomorrow and work on the, the other bottom half. Okay. So I'll wish you a very good evening. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like and hit the subscribe button if you're a newcomer. Welcome. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hi everyone, good morning. I demolded the little duck or the little goose um, and it came out beautifully. What I forgot to do yesterday was to add beige pearl to the sand to lighten it up. So no use in trying now. Anyway, it came out really nice. I did add uh, a few more rocks and I did use a little um, pinata gold and just swirled it around the outside a little bit. And uh, then I discovered I have seashells. So we might add a few small seashells into this um, project as we get move along. But um, it turned out really, really nice. And I did take my razor blade and I just skimmed the little lip across the edge here. So I'm going to just pause you a moment and make up some resin. I'm going to make up some uh, blues and some white. And um, then we'll put it in the big mold and take it from there. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I put uh, together four ounces of my amazing clear cast. It's a little bubbly and I meant to zap it before I turned you on. So I'm sorry, I will cut this out or try to, it's too noisy. Where's my butt? Okay, now I'm not gonna need very much weight. So I thought I would mix up my white with the clear cast first and let that um, set a spell. So, don't really need too much. Now this is my only second attempt at a ocean or water, so um, I'm not quite how sure. <laughs> I don't think I need very much, but on the first attempt I made on a clock I just got carried away and it was just uh, it was just uh, difficult <laughs> let's put it that way so I'm just gonna do let's see how many drops not too many I need to open up the hole of this a little better it's uh, hard to get out three four five Let's put a little pinata white in there. Give it a little shimmer. Maybe one, two, three. Am I in the camera? And then let's put a little bit of my uh, Just For You Online UK white shimmer. And that should make a, probably more than I need, but let's go with that. Let's see what happens, like magic. Pretty white, pretty white. I'm gonna try to work fast because I don't want a flash cure. I had one flash cure at one time. I had three different, oh gosh, containers with probably f three ounces in each container. And uh, before I knew it, they were all hard as rocks. I think that's going to be pretty. Okay. We're going to let that set. Now I'm going to try a little light blue. So Let's try the haze. 
Oh, and I should get different containers because these little bags are tough to get open. Um, Spoon, I thought. Look at this little spoon. It came with, I believe it came with these little soap powders when I received them. It's a pretty blue. It's more like a sky blue, isn't it? But we're not going to have room for a lot of color. So see how far we can get with this and I'm gonna do probably an ounce of this light blue and you know these little cups uh, I just put a marker on there because they're a little hard to see so 30 uh, milligrams or centimeters 30 no 30 milligrams equals one ounce So we'll just try to get close to an ounce if I can see. It's good. Let's see what color we come up with. That's going to be very light and translucent, but very pretty. Very pretty. And they say you really have to mix your mica powders in. The soap powder is a mica powder, and you really have to um, stir that in well. So you don't want lumps of your mica showing up in your, your project. I'm thinking that's a little too late. So, now here I have a sky blue and an aqua blue. I wonder which one's darker. The aqua blue actually looks purple in the jar. Let me shake this. This is a liquid dye. Let's see how dark that could possibly be. Which is darker? This is more of an aqua, which is quite pretty. So let me try a little bit of the aqua in here. So I will need another stick, a clean stick. Corn dog sticks. <clears throat> Pardon me. I do like my corn dogs. I think that's enough. Just swap sticks. Maybe that's going to be the dark blue. Who will know? We'll find out. That's better. Oh, that is pretty. There we go. That will be our light blue. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Makes me think of peacocks. Okay. Good to go on that. That is sky blue. And now I'll try to darken it up. And if I can't get it dark enough, I'm going to go get some paint. You can pour your acrylic paints in your resin. It's my understanding that you can go up to 10, uh, no more than 10% on your additions to um, your additives, or your colorings. Okay, I don't know where I left off, but the camera quit running. So, we we'll catch up. I mixed my resin. I'm trying to center the duck. And I'm going to go ahead and pour my dark, probably have too much of this dark blue on the right hand, Billy.
my mold was a little pretty color very rich color whoop I'll be blending anyway I did pre-warm my resin, so it, uh, let's see, oh my, it's almost been 25 minutes, and this has a 45-minute working time, but as you know, I warmed it up, I think I just said that, I'm repeating myself, very pretty. I'm going to try to wake these leaves up right there. Get them out of there if I can. It's not going to matter. I better get this in here. This is a pretty peacock. Green or aquamarine. And I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, well, you're in the way. No wonder I'm having trouble. Gosh, can I get that off of there? Oh my goodness, look at what we're getting. We're getting my first uh, look at dinosaur eggs. Oh, I didn't get my skins out to use up, but that's all right because I don't think we have time. Maybe I should have glued you down. I don't know how. I'm going to have to tape it in place once I get. Oh my gosh, everybody. I lost you. My camera said no more storage. So I just, I don't know where I left off, but. I've got my blues in, my white in, everything's moving towards the center. I've taped the uh, duck to the moles, to the tray, so it is centered. And I'm going to have to do another, um, pardon me, I can't even think now, that had me boggled, another um, pour tomorrow. So... But I, I have to do it now. I, I have to do it now because then I can't mold the bowl. That's the problem. Okay. Um, if I lose you, I apologize. I will catch up with you. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to put you on pause and mix up more resin because I'm going to need more resin to fill this up because I want to get level with the sand. Unless I put, you know, rocks and stuff around it, but that would just be too much. So... I'm going to pour some resin, um, make some resin, pour some resin, um, and see where we go for there. So I'm going to pause you and hopefully we can pick up where we left off. I'm going to be so upset. Okay, everyone, let's try this again. I mixed up more resin and I should have known the first time to do more than enough than not enough. So, here we go again. I hope this doesn't bugger up my foundation here. Because it's not set, you know, but I have to, I have to get this on here. My main goal is to get it up close enough to the the sandbar. Well, I don't know where we shut off at, but we did. So, um, I've got the second layer of blue on. I apologize for not getting this all recorded. I'm going to check back with you shortly. So until then, have a good afternoon. Bye. Good morning, everyone. As I fall out of my chair. Oh my goodness. Well, 
let's get back to our little goose. Let me tell you what happened. Uh, late last night, it was I was getting tired, and I thought, oh my gosh, I can't stay up long enough to uh, get this mold into the plate. So what I did, and you can't see how it worked now, but what I did was I took the whole mold and I put it on the plate. And then this morning when I demolded it, it has a nice curvature like the plate does. So, uh, that was positive. Let me put my, okay, I had to put something up. So that was a positive note. Now, it's got a nice curve. You can see it. Nice curve to it. I need to trim the top edge. But what's happened, as you see, I lost, um, I lost my weight. And there's a divot here. And it just does not look right without a white coming to the edge of the sand. So, uh, also, because this resin was still uh, wet when I moved it, I don't know if you can see those little uh, flaws right there or where the resin pulled, but you know, I'm not going to worry about that. I think it still looks quite pretty, uh, darker than what I was hoping. Um, I looked around for anything blue that I could add to the dock to, um, you know, bring it together. I'm thinking I could replace her ribbon with a turquoise ribbon. And then all I could find was these tiny, tiny roses that I had a package of and so maybe I will add a rose to her or two to her bouquet and possibly a couple down here to and and I think that would suffice I think that would just be the way to go but worrying about this edge I think what I'm gonna try it's all about trying <laughs> is um, Mix a small amount of resin, possibly put some sand in it, bring it up to the level of the water, and then take a very fine uh, white around the edges and see if I can't blow it with a straw. So, that's my plan. Stay tuned, I'll mix up some resin. Hopefully you are recording because I had to take a zillion videos and pictures off my phone last night so hopefully it won't cut out on us again let me get right back to you thanks okay I'm back I um, dug up my little turntable I put the plate on top of the turntable because I don't want the uh, there's some little bumps on the edge of the turntable and I don't want it going into um, you know the bottom of the resin and I didn't show you the bottom of the resin I'll show you how nice well there's where our white went our white and our rocks are at the bottom and oh I wish I would have had this lighter scenario or tint right here darn it. and I'm not going to make up to do that um this project alone has given me um, some real good tips on how to change things if I do this again, and I really would like to do this again. So um, I've learned a lot from this uh, little tryout, but I think it's going to be gorgeous anyway. So what I have here is I did mix a little sand, and I since we forgot the beige pearl, or I did yesterday, I put a little bit of that in. And I made some white with my casting craft and uh, pinata white. So that's setting to get a little thicker because I think that might have been the problem last, last time. So I'm just going to get some more sand in here. Maybe try to get it close to the edge if I can. Because... Uh, 
Yeah, that's just too obvious, 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 obvious of a, a change right there. So I'm going to lose a few rocks, but that's okay. So I was thinking I maybe would have been better off with just the thing, the single layer, the first layer I did, because it would have brought everything to the center in the mold, or not everything, but uh, pretty much done the same as this, but not, uh, you know, as as severe. I'm not sure. All I know is I like it, and it's different. And I'm recycling a little duck or goose. So you can see where the sand is pulling to the center already, so that's okay. Just need to even out that barrier. I did add a few more uh, little rocks last night, by the way. Um, around the edges, thinking that might help it a little bit. Get some sand in there. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I think this will... I'm really concentrating now. And you know, I'm still bummed out because I now I have to figure out how to add my music from YouTube instead of the program I've been using because of the copyright infringement thing. So, uh, I just... Uh, need to put, you know, music in my intro and music in my um, ending and where I speed it up. But that'll come to me. That'll go into that. It's pretty thick. Not as runny as what we did or what I did the first time. think we're good oh right there big space just enough I mixed um, 40 milligrams of resin all together which is you know pretty much uh, two-thirds of an ounce Much, much better. Whoop, I lose my plate. I thought about taping it, but I didn't. Um, I guess where it goes, it goes. Back in here. All right. Don't have much. Don't have much. These little cups, too, you can get like a hundred at the dollar store. I wish they were paper, but. I haven't seen any that small that were paper. Okay. Use my sticks over and over again too. Okay, now the white. Oh, it's nice and thick. Not quite sure how I'm gonna to try to get that on there. But I do need just, oh, just a skim of resin around the edge. How should I do this? Um, 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 um. Let's try something else besides that big old stick. These came with something. I think, the, oh, they came with this set of uh, cups, this set of cup molds. I could just pour it. Gosh, I need to get used to doing it this way. A little more conviction, knowing I can 
fix things. You know, I always do try to fix things because it's worth a try. I mean, I, I figure there's always some kind of, possibly some kind of way to fix things. Now I'm getting carried away here. Might as well glob it on like I'm just gonna go in the center anyway. Okay. Enough of that. I got carried away. This this now. Okay, here we go. This is going to be tricky. And pardon the top of my head. My hair's in a braid. I need a shower, but um we're going for this. I don't know if I think a stick would be best because I think when I pour, I get a little too carried away. So I'm just going to go on the opposite side and blow. Should have got it closer to the... Uh, That's the way to do it. From the outside. Yes. That's better. Just that little touch. Just that little touch makes all the difference. A little touch of white. Now, now I'm feeling better. Okay. In my mind, that's what I was hoping we could do. I could probably mix, put a little green in this and go on the top of it a little more. I don't know. So play with it. Which way to go? Hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, this is a bowl. It's just covering up what we've been working on because I made some uh, not too drastic of changes, but uh, I can give you a hint. Well, this isn't a hint, but first I filed my edges and I gold trimmed the edges. And there was a spot in the resin that was not smooth. So, I hope you like it. I got carried away with the gold pen, but I think it's wonderful. So here we go. Ta-da! Look at this girl. Look at this girl. I took the other blue flowers off. They looked, uh, they just didn't go. Um, I did paint her beak gold. I fixed the section that was not uh, level with this little gold carp I painted with my my um, premium deco color pen. I got this mold from Amazon and I'll link that for you. Uh, there's three in a package and I think she turned out gorgeous. I put a little gold on the rocks to make it a little cohesive and then I just glued him on with super glue. So on the back I want to show you I did put um, I did put a cork bottom on the back one of the rounds for coasters. So there she is. I think it's really cute now. I, uh, it took a lot of work though, didn't it? But uh, I love it. There's my gold trim on the sides and uh, there's our little recycled duck or goose. 
but I think she's beautiful. So I'm going to do more of these. I hope you like it. I'll take a nice still picture of it. And uh, thank you again for joining me. Please uh, have a great day. Um, until next time, bye-bye.